Dear student, in this video, we will learn about parts of the circle. Let's start. Here we have circle. Now you can see there is a point in this figure. This point is called as center of the circle. And this is also be known as fixed point of the circle. Now we will make a segment from center to the circle. You can see here we have a segment from center to the circle. A segment from center to a circle is called as radius of the circle. And every circle has uncountable radius. You can see that here we have another radius. Like that we can get many radius. So circle has uncountable radius and all radius are equal in length. Now you can see here we have a segment which joins two points of the circle, right? You can see this segment joins two point of the circle and it passes through the center of the circle. If any segment joins two point of the circle and passes through the center of the circle, then such segment is called as diameter. So this segment is diameter of the circle. Now here we have a segment which joins two point of the circle. A segment which joins two point of the circle is called as chord of the circle. So this segment is chord of the circle. Now you can see over here this diameter is also chord because it joins two point of the circle. So this diameter is also chord of the circle and thus this is longest chord of the circle. Okay, diameter is the longest chord of the circle. So diameter is also chord. Now you can see here we have a line which touching the circle at one and only one point, right? If any line touches the circle at one and only one point, then that line is called as tangent of the circle. Now you can see here we have a line which intersects circle at two different points. If any line intersects the circle at two different point, so this line is secant of the circle. Now you can see that here the circle is divided in four equal parts. Okay, you can see this circle is divided in four equal part. Each part is called as quadrant. Now, you can say this is half part of the circle. Okay, you can see in this figure this is half part of the circle. And this, is, this half part is called as semi circle. It is another half part of the circle. So the half part of the circle is called as semi circle. Now you can see the shaded part in this figure, the shaded part. This shaded part is called as semi circular region. Okay, this is semi circular region. Even you can see the another part, this one. This part is also known as semicircular region. Now here we have a circle and you can see this shaded portion. This shaded portion of the circle is called as circular region. Now you can see the boundary the boundary of the circle is called as circumference of the circle. 